Something interesting that popped up today out of the blue, Google just surprised us with not one, not two, but seven new features coming soon to Android devices. To be clear, this is not the same as the Pixel feature drops we typically cover, as these features will be generally available to everyone. Some of these upcoming changes range from Google Messages to Google Wallet and new ways to access Google Home, all of which we're going to cover in this video for you. As usual, we work very hard to get the latest Android news out there, so subscribe and stick around to the channel if you want to keep up with all things Google, Android, and Gemini. We also have a channel membership that you should take a look at where our members get exclusive access to wallpapers and behind the scenes content. So check that out and join our community. We would certainly love to have you. That said, let's take a quick look at these new Android features, starting with a huge one with the ability to edit Google Messages for RCS users. I think for a while now, users wanted to have the ability to edit sent messages. Pretty much every other major messaging platform has that option, like WhatsApp, Telegram, and even iMessage of all places, so this was definitely an area where Google needed to catch up. This will most likely be a gradual rollout, but once available, you will be able to tap and hold on a sent message, select the new pen icon towards the top, and make your changes accordingly. The edit feature does have a small limitation, being a 15 minute time frame to make changes after sending the message, and it is worth noting the original message will not be deleted but can be accessed via a view details tab in a long press menu. As a whole, this is a great feature that should bring Google Messages in line with their competitors and should improve the overall user experience. Next up is probably the one and only feature that makes me actually envious of iPhone users, which is one tap hotspot sharing capability. Google has announced they're releasing their own version called Instant Hotspot, and with this feature, we finally have a simplified way to connect your Chromebook or tablet, for example, to your phone's internet. In practice, you will need to have Bluetooth enabled for both devices and be signed into the same Google account. From there, pop into the Devices and Sharing tab where you can manage your connected devices. For me, I'm someone that really wants to take my Pixel tablet and Chromebook, for that matter, outside of the house as often as possible, so this change is certainly welcomed. Additionally, within that Devices and sharing tab, you can also enable a feature labeled Call Cast, where you can seamlessly switch between connected devices during Google Meet calls as well. Speaking of convenience, Google did discuss another feature with the announcement of a new Google Home widget for Android home screens. This should serve as an easy way to control your more frequently used smart home products as it shows the status of said devices alongside the ability to customize the grid format or widget size to suit your preferences. Honestly, we should have had this a long time ago, but from this quick preview, it looks like they took the time to get it right, so I'm looking forward to playing around with it. If you're someone that uses a lot of emojis in your conversation, then this upcoming emoji kitchen sticker combination feature might be interesting to you. Quote, coming soon, users will have the ability to combine two emojis at once and create a new personalized version. Based on the UI renders, it looks like you can select any two and have that combined version recommended to you in that little sticker carousel at the top of your keyboard. As a whole, it isn't anything crazy, but it is nice to have the official function built in so you don't have to risk using third-party apps. Continuing with the convenience features, there are actually a few new additions coming to Wear OS in the near future. Google Wallet on Wear OS is getting a small but welcome improvement with the implementation of PayPal support. Previously, this was limited only to smartphones, but now we have that same convenience on your wrist as well, although it's only available to those located in the US and Germany, unfortunately. And if you're a Google Home user with a Wear OS device, you should be excited as Google is introducing a new favorites tile and watch face complication. This new tile should be similar in design to the Google Contacts one, where you will have five devices displayed for quick access to your most frequently used smart home devices right from your wrist. And that new watch face complication should serve a similar function by offering a shortcut to a single pre-selected device instead. Of course, I almost forgot to mention, there has been a small upgrade to the digital car keys feature that will now support selected Mini, and soon vehicles from Mercedes-Benz and Polestar. Once enabled, you will be able to lock, unlock, and start your car with your phone or securely share digital car keys with family and friends. Maybe one day I'll be a Mercedes-Benz driver, but for now, I'm happy that more brands are joining the compatibility list. And as a whole, guys, those are the seven newly announced Android features that should be making its way to your devices sometime, quote, soon. I hate that I don't have an actual date to give, but I would recommend keeping an eye on the 9to5Google website for when these 
these new additions actually arrive, otherwise I'm looking forward to trying some of them out myself. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of these new features, and also let me know which one of these are you looking forward to the most. Before I get out of here, I wanted to give a huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Thank you all for supporting us as we do our best to bring high quality Android content to the platform. Both Damien and I work around the clock to get this stuff out in a timely manner, and your help is greatly appreciated. With that said, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.